Should we begin? Yes, children. Everybody has to open the book. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, which chapter? The necklace. Put the date on it. Hurry up. Written? Yes, ma'am. And I had already explained you the summary of it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. On Friday, we did the summary, right? Yes, ma'am. So now pay attention in the book. Matilda is invited to a grand party. She has a beautiful dress, but no jewelry. She borrows a necklace from a friend and loses it. What happens then? She was one of those pretty young ladies born as if through an error of destiny into a family of clerks. Now, uh, what I said, Matilda, she was very, very beautiful, very pretty woman she was. And uh, the writer says that due to an error of destiny, that she was born in into a middle class family, okay, into a family of clerks. She had no dowry, no hopes, no means of becoming known loved and married by a man either rich or distinguished and she allowed herself to marry a petty clerk in the office of the board of education now see she did not have so much of money as to give in a dowry means her family did not possess so much of money that they might uh, get a very good boy for him uh, and might give him dowry right so she or his uh, or her family did not have so much of money to give in dowry. She did not have any hopes. Why? Because she knew very well that she was born in a family of clerks, in a middle class family, and surely she's going to get married to a middle class only. No means of becoming known, and she did not have any means that she might become famous, right? Uh, she might be loved by some rich man or married to a rich man. Getting it? Ya koi distinguished admi te shadi karne ki koi uski asha nahi thi. Isliye she accepted the fact and she allowed herself to get married to a petty clerk. Petty hota hai, ek bohat chota sa clerk tha in the office of the board of education. She got married to him. She was simple, but she was unhappy. Or bohat simple thi wo. She did not have any hopes. She did not have any uh, money. She did not have any means. Okay. Uh, she was not uh, loved by a rich man. She did not get married to a rich man. Why? Because uh, she knew very well that her parents couldn't afford Okay, to get her married to a rich man as they did not have any money for dowries and so on. So she was a simple woman and she got married to a small clerk, up to a petty clerk. And, uh, but still she was uh, very simple, though she was simple, but she was unhappy. She was not happy living with a petty clerk. Got it, better? Nobody yes, is getting. Why all are dump after three days holidays? Should I remove all the lazy students from the group? It's really disgusting. Rahul, put off the camera. It's really very embarrassing. Coming after three days holidays, had a good dress, still so dull, so lazy. She suffered incessantly 
feeling herself born for all the delicacies and luxuries. Now, continuously, she suffered a lot and she used to feel that uh, she was born, okay, for all kind of delicacies and luxuries, means to enjoy all kind of luxuries of the life, to enjoy all the tasty food, okay, and all the richness of life. She suffered from the poverty of her apartment, the shabby walls and the worn chairs. Now see, she was very unhappy. She used to think that she is born, why? Because uh, she thought that she was very pretty and by mistake she was born in the family of clerks, but she was born to enjoy all the delicacies of life, to enjoy the good food, to enjoy the richness, to enjoy the luxuries of life. Sare Aishwaram Vagre sab enjoy karne ke liye. Okay? Uska janam hua tha. Ab she did not like the poverty of her own apartment. Ab jis ghar mein rehti thi, waha garibi dekhti, she did not like. She did not like the shabby walls. Okay? The dirty, discolored walls that were not painted, she did not like. She did not like the old and the worn out chairs. And her tooty, footy, gandhi, kulsiya, usko pasad nahi thi. And all these things, they tortured and angered her. Okay? And all these things, whenever she used to look at her apartment, such dirty apartment, she became very angry. Okay? And uh, when she seated herself for dinner opposite her husband, who uncovered the children with a delighted air, uh, saying, oh, the good pot pie, I know nothing better than that. Now see, husband used to do everything to make her happy. Whatever she cooked, whatever she made, husband used to praise her. So whenever she seated herself for dinner, okay, during the dinner, she used to sit at the dining table opposite to her husband. So when husband, he uncovered the turin, what is a turin? Turin is a bowl of soup. Write down bowl of soup, soup bowl. Soup ka katora hota hai na usko, jab wo uncover karta, uska dhakkan uthata, aur uski smell lete hue, he used to praise his wife, hai na, apni wife ki tarif karta, aur kehta, oh, such a good pot pie, okay, itni badhiya cheez hai. I know nothing better than that, okay? And I did. I do not know that anything could be better than this. He used to praise his wife. She would think of elegant dinners, of shining silver. She thought of the exquisite food served in marvelous dishes. The Usamabi, okay? The husband used to praise her. But she did not accept his praise. And that time also, she used to think of elegant dinners, you know, big, big dinners that were served in silver utensils, okay? And uh, she thought of the ex exquisite food served in marvelous dishes. And she used to think of the excellent food, you know, different, different varieties, different, different dishes that were served. She had neither frocks nor jewels. Now she did not have frock. Frock means her dresses. She did not have beautiful dresses. She did not have jewels also. And she loved only those. And she had a great, great desire for those things. Means for the richness, for beautiful dresses. Okay. For beautiful jewelry, he wanted to live in a big house where lots and lots of servants were there to serve her, okay? And uh, where she could sit on a big dining table having her meals in the silver, different meals, exquisite food, she would be served in the silver utensils, okay? Marvelous utensils. So she used to dream of all such things and she was never happy, never satisfied with whatever she had. Got it? Clear or not? Yes, ma'am. Everyone? Ma yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Why she was never sat satisfied with whatever she had? Why she was not satisfied? Who will tell me? 
why she was not satisfied with whatever she had. Yes. Ma'am, she thought that she was a very pretty girl and uh, by mistake he was uh, born in a uh, middle class family. So he yeah. want, so she want all those things uh, like necklace, uh, uh, jewelry, luxury life. Luxurious life. Yes, elegant food, okay, elegant dresses, lots and lots of servants moving around, okay. She wanted to get married to a rich man or to a very renowned man. Very good, Harsh. Only Harsh is attentive. Bhumika? Yes, ma'am. Not attentive? Yes, ma'am, attentive. Ishika, Samiksha, no response from your side? Shweta, Shweta, Shruti, Yadav, they never reply, you know. They never, they never give any kind of response. Arpita Sharma, no response. Radhika, no response at all. Kushi Dadi, no response. Some of them, they just join the class. Why? Because they are forced to join. Bita. Are you forced to join the class? Or you just get connected to the class and roam all about in the house without paying attention to the chapters? This is very bad. You should give response. Okay, come to the next matter. She had a rich friend, a schoolmate at the convent who she did not like to visit. She suffered so much when she returned. She wept for whole days from despair and disappointment. Now see, Matilda, she had a rich friend. Okay, and she was her schoolmate at the convent school. They both used to study together, but uh, she was not interested in visiting her. Why? Because whenever she visited uh, her house, her friend's house, and she returned back, she used to cry for the whole day. You know, she used to cry and cry. Why? She became very despaired and disappointed. Apni friend ka ghar visit karti, uski richness dekhti, uski life dekhti. To ye dekkar ho itna dukhi ho jati thi ki whole day she used to cry. Now see what happens. One evening her husband returned elated. Elated means quite happy. Bearing in his hand, having in his hand a large envelope. Okay, envelope was there, envelope was there eh? in the hand of the husband. He was very happy and he came back from his work and what did he say? do. Here he said here's something for you. And excited. See, look, I've got something for you. She quickly drew out a printed card on which were inscribed these words. Okay. An envelope was there. She took out the printed card or some words were written. What was it? It was an invitation card. See what was written. The Minister of Public Instruction and Madam George Rampunum, okay, ask the honor of M and Madam, uh, Mr. and, okay, M Mrs. Loisel's company, Monday evening, January 18, at the minister's residence. Up a invitation, tha, and it was for these Loisel couples, Matilda and her husband, and they were invited at a ball party and when they were invited, Monday evening, January 18. Underline it. <clears throat> Underlined. Instead yes, of being delighted as a husband yes, and hope, she threw the invitation spitefully upon the table, murmuring. What do you suppose I want with that? Now see, husband was very excited. He was very happy. Husband ko laga. Even Matilda, she would become very happy on seeing this. Okay. And so, uh, 
uh, he showed the invitation to her wife but instead of becoming happy you know very hatefully you know she threw the invitation on the table and she says oh what should i do with that what do you think okay what does this supposed to mean what am i going to do with such invitation but my theory i thought it would make you happy now husband you know he was a very seedha sada very simple gentleman man and he says oh my dear i thought this invitation it was of a party it was of a grand party okay from the minister's residence the part the invitation was from the minister of public instruction so he says that i thought it is going to make you happy you never go out and this is an occasion and a fine one husband bada khush hota hai ki bhai tum kabhi bahar bhi nahi jaati ho and we have got a nice opportunity to go out to attend a grand party everybody wishes one and it is very selective not many are given to employees okay and he says ki everybody is looking for such invitations you know har kisi ki ichha hoti hai that they should attend the party of big people of rich people of ministers and all और हमारे भी सारे एम्प्लॉज को इनविटेशन नहीं दिए ओनली सेलेक्टेड ऑफ दैम आर गिवन एंड आई एम द लकीस्ट वन दैट आई हैड आल्सो बीन इनवाइटेड यू विल सी द होल ऑफिशियल वर्ल्ड देयर एंड यू आर गोइंग टू सी द होल ऑफिसर्स ओके द वर्ल्ड ऑफ बिग ऑफिसर्स ए ग्रेड ऑफिसर्स देयर शी लुक्ड एट हिम विद एन इरिटेटेड आई एंड डिक्लेयर्ड इम्पेशेंटली अब मटेल्डा बहुत इरिटेटेड हो गई और चिढ़ गई ओके और अपने हस्बैंड को देख कर कहती व्हाट डू यू सपोज आई हैव टू वेयर टू सच अ थिंग एज दैट व्हाट डू यू थिंक है ना व्हाट एम आई गोइंग टू वेयर इन सच अ ग्रैंड पार्टी क्या पहन कर जाऊंगी मैं क्या समझती हूं तुम हाउ विल यू गो हाउ विल आई गो ही हैड नॉट थॉट ऑफ इट ही स्टैमर्ड ओके अब उसने तो ये तो सोचा ही नहीं था अबाउट द ड्रेस एंड ऑल बेचारा स्टैमर करता है थोड़ा उसकी जुबान जो है स्टार्टेड स्टैमरिंग लड़खड़ा जाती है और कहता है वाई द ड्रेस यू वेयर व्हेन वी गो टू द थिएटर इट सीम्स वेरी प्रिटी टू मी आम सीधा साधा सा सिंपल सा हस्बैंड कहते हैं द ड्रेस है ना वेन एवर वी गो टू द थिएटर यू वेयर दैट ड्रेस दैट इज रियली ब्यूटिफुल यू कैन पुट ऑन दैट ड्रेस ही वॉज साइलेंट स्टूपीफाइड इन दिस मे एट द साइड ऑफ हिज वाइफ weeping a bilkul silent ho gaya okay bilkul stupefied in dismay okay dismay is uh, where there is no hope okay uh, matlab nirash ho gaya wo aur ekdam stupefied shocked ekdam uh, chup ho gaya and he saw that his wife matilda she had started crying he stammered what is the matter what is the matter wo aur ghabra gaya puchta hai come on matilda what is the matter why are you cry got it beta yes ma'am yes ma'am okay, we'll continue tomorrow yes. and in case in case suppose i'm somewhat few minutes late okay don't panic be patient because many times we have got this network problem in connecting okay jaise aaj bhi thodi dikkat ho rahi thi connection mein to aap ghabrana nahi theek hai be patient and just ma'am ha samiksha what happened ma'am can you please tell that what is the